This deck has a 72% win rate after almost 40 games. Say what? It's crazy. And sometimes I can't tell if I make good decks or they're just so stupid that people have no idea how to play against me. I'll take either though, it's fine. Let's break the deck down and then jam some games in this installment if... Oh my god, this deck is cracked. <laughs> What's up, nerds? So uh, this deck is two game plans holding hands and skipping through the park. That analogy did not work, but you get my point. It's basically Ravona Blob Taskmaster stuff mixed with Shuri Red Skull stuff. And the rest of the cards in the deck, basically just high power dudes like Ebony Maw, Maximus Gladiator, Tuma. They're the most power you can get for their energy, um, which complements your Taskmaster Shuri Blob stuff. I really like the I really like how Blob plays now. You have to use this deck with the deck tracker. Like every time I play Blob, I look over and I'm like, uh, can I actually do that? No, it's uh, you do the math. And um, anyways, I just like the change to Blob. It, it was a good one. Uh, Scar is here because sometimes he is too energy, which is awesome. But uh, with Ravona, if your Scar is too energy, you can go Taskmaster Scar on the last turn of the game, which is stupid. But that's the deck. It's game time. But. I didn't just say randomly, but. That's this guy's name. Hello there. All right. Beverage secured. Uh, Mindscape sucks. It's like the last location I want to see, honestly. It's fine, though. Wow, these locations are booty hole, son. All right, I'll just play Ravona over there. Okay. I'm going to assume the Mysterio is the real one, because if I was him, I'd put the real one there. But the general rule of Mindscape is if someone has Storm, they're going to Storm Mindscape. So probably just play it there. So considering Mindscape exists, I'm just going to do Shuri and the Gladiator stuff like now instead of uh, like waiting to do it with Red Skull. All right, well, if you're playing Mysterio, you can probably fill up the Raft pretty fast. Okay, it was like a bounce deck. Oh, Dazzler Patriot stuff too. Either way, it's cool. Ooh, do I do Maximus into armor? No, let's just do Gladiator. And then copy it with Taskmaster. I don't think he can use Taskmaster very well. I mean, ah, oh crap, now that I think about it, I should probably go Maximus into armor. Give him two cards to play on. The last turn of the game probably isn't the best. Pew, 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 pew. Okay, yeah, it's the Patriot stuff. Ooh. Ah ha ha! That um, I don't think that worked out. Okay, yeah, I guess I just Taskmaster. That's fine. Do I play out zero though? I don't think I play zero. So what if he gives me like? A good card. I don't want to just zero it. All right. Ah, that's a big boy. No, oh, that sucks. <laughs> okay. Well, he's going to have a red skull. Ah, oh. I can just do this, this and this. I think that wins. Yeah. Pretty sure it does. That goes to 17 there. This material is not going to get bigger than 5. I think. And uh, that... I think that beats the Red Skull stuff over there too. Okay. <laughs> but, good game. What rank was this guy? 85. All right, next game. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? This is fine. Um, kind of sucks. It's fine though. We can just armor into a Tuma. That's cool. And play like a cheap Scar. I think I would rather go armor at this point than Ravona. Actually, I could just go Ravona and then just play the Atuma out. 
Let's go Ravona over here. Just play the Atuma Nike, all Nike like. But naked at Collapse Mine. And then follow up with an armor and a scar on turn six. Yeah, sure. Could get cute with my Atuma at the end of the game with that Null there if I really want to. Alright, yeah, let's just throw out a naked Atuma. He's barely wearing clothes as it is. Because then if I draw, like, Red Skull or Blob next turn, I can just play that out, which gives us, like, a super cheap Scar. I should be careful with the... Um, the uh, Spider-Mans. Okay, let's just armor up now. Let's armor up now. Play Shuri. And then next turn, we will go Scar and Maximus, most likely. Uh, if he kills that, I'm actually... That's fine. It's not that big of a deal. Because if he kills that, then I'll just, like, Shuri the Maximus and play Scar somewhere else. Okie doke. Also, okay. Sure. Yeah. Um, what do I want to Shuri here? If I play Blob, it's 24 power, basically. I think I double Scar and play Maximus. I think, I think this is the play. Boo! Wait! <laughs> Got him! <laughs> Alright. Forgot, I always forget about Silk. That worked. I think that game was a prime example of maybe it's not the deck. Well, maybe it is a deck. It's just so dumb people don't know what to do. Um, eh, do nothing. Armor on two. Let's go. Let's just armor there. Sure. I have no way of like actually winning Death Domain, so let's just play armor there. We can't win Death Domain unless we have armor there. And also we might be playing against that de a deck that can win Death Domain, so I feel like this is the best play. Okie doke. Let's go ahead and zero into Ebony Maw, and then we can go zero into Gladiator again next turn. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Wait, what? I wasn't looking. Okay, he quaked. <laughs> um, yeah, now we go zero into Gladiator. Yeah. I guess I should have zero, uh, played zero at Luke's bar again, but whatever. We just play a naked Red Skull and then copy with Taskmaster. I mean, it's not the best thing in the world, but it's 28 power. Which is a lot. A lot. I'll take it, I suppose. Um, deck tracker. What's left in my deck? Atuma and Shuri. I guess we can just give him uh, the cards back with. Let's play the Dust Domain. Scar, I guess, is technically better than Maximus. I mean, than Red Skull next turn. So we'll just play Scar.
What what's this? Okay. So sort of a weird play. Yeah, play Scar over there. He's gotta have a lot of power on this next turn to win. And go. And go. Go. Go 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 go. He's got to win by so much over there. Yeah, that's not enough. <laughs> He's, yeah. I mean, that's cool. I love that. Destroyer, Yellow Jacket, Cosmo. That's awesome. Next game. Okay. Playing one of the X-Files officers. Sorry, agent. FBI are not officers. They're agents. We will definitely just armor there. Next turn, we can just go zero into Maximus. That's fine. Okay, that's quite good. Let's go zero into Ebony Maw. Um, I think we can hold the Maximus, that's fine. We don't need to play the Shuri either. Uh, yeah, we don't need to Shuri the Ebony Maw because um, we have a bunch of big stuff left in our deck. Pow. Okay, Bishop is gonna be Briefer. Briefer. Looks like just a bounce. Bounce deck. Um, I still think I wanna hold Maximus, so let's just play Shuri into a big Atuma. Copy it with Taskmaster. Pretty good. Um, oh, okay. Well, that's really good. Oh, man. Goose is fine, actually. Um, yeah, let's just play a Tuma. We can do Maximus over here now. Ah, no. Hold Maximus. All right, we'll do this. We're going to 25 Adesto domain. Um. He can... Actually, I don't know if he can get... I don't think he can get the 25. Well, it says it's in her deck. Okay, so Blob is giant. Blob's big here. Oh, we can't play it anywhere because of friggin' Goose. Okay, I guess we just... Do this. And uh, this. Sure. You know what? Let's let's do uh, let's do Maximus second, so we can maybe play uh, Taskmaster out next turn if we have to. Okay, so that's three. Yeah, he can't win Death Domain. Oh, wait. That's the final turn. <laughs> Elysium screwed me up, dude. <laughs> I was playing like that was turn five. Um, I don't know. My, my brain just farted right there and I got lucky with that one. <laughs> I'll take it though. Jesus Christ, Jacob. The weird name, sir. Why would you name yourself that? Ooh, Kamartage. Um, Super awesome if we draw Shuri. Let's go ahead and zero into Ebony Maw. That's fine. I don't feel too hard pressed to play Ravone out early. Actually, Ravone on three is totally fine in this deck. Because uh, the only time you don't want a Ravona any later than two is um, basically when you have Shuri and Atuma and armor in your hand, like all at the same time, and that doesn't happen very often. So yeah, we'll go Ebony Maw here, uh, make him 10, because that'll reduce Scar. Cool. Am I worried about Shang-Chi from a move deck? I don't know. Oh, that sucks. 
Okay, that's friggin' huge, sir. Yikes! That guy put out so much power on turn two, what the hell? Um... Let's armor up Kamartage. Actually... Yeah, sure. Let's armor up Kamartage. Let's just do that. Hopefully we draw a Tuma or something. Uh, so we can get a super cheap Scar. Okay, this is the balanced version. Alright, we are dead. There's no way I'm winning this game. Um, sure, let's, let's Gladiator on the right. Maybe I can steal one. Well, I don't know if putting a Falcon back in his hand was the best thing ever. Oh my god, dude. Now he's just gonna get another giant human torch. I'm keeping I'm keeping this in the recording. It's ridiculous. <laughs> uh, cool. Yeah, let's do two more over there to get a cheap scar. And maybe we can just go scar into Red Skull or something and steal a win from this guy. If he snaps, I'm leaving. I'll leave. I mean, maybe he'll win because he's gonna have like one giant card and he's gonna have a trouble winning like a second lane. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, okay. Just get his cards back. Sure. Oh, no. He's going to get another... Um... He's, he's going to get another uh, dude. Oh, it's the last turn. Dude, I am so stupid. So he's going to put out 60-something power in some lane. You know what? Let's do this. And this. And then do this and this. That's a, such a big scar. You know what? Since our a scar is going to be 40 something power, right? So I'm going to assume he doesn't. Ah, ah, you know what? Let's not justify any of these plays. Let's just do it. That cloak, I think, gave me a chance to win this game. Because now he's going to psych himself out. Yeah, he moves all that stuff over there, loses. Plays the big uh, flaming dude in the middle. Oh, dude, please play your torch in the middle. Torch in the middle, torch in the middle. I can't remember. Was this crackle one? Yep. Oh my god, he played torch in the middle. Never mind. I thought for a second, I thought. <laughs> All right. All right. Well played, sir. Almost. Next game. We're playing against Cody. The whitest name ever. <laughs> Ravona or armor? I think we go Ravona. We can always just armor next turn if we really want to. We don't armor sewer system though, because um, wherever we play a Tuma, we want him to stay at 10 power for Scar. What this? All right, we just got a hello player. Um, so Gladiator's probably not good. <laughs> Let's just play armor. Should probably avoid Gladiator this game. We'll go two more on the right. Maybe Blob on the left. We'll see what we draw.
Uh, okay, Atuma into Blob into Taskmaster. That's fine. Um, well, how big is Blob now? Well, Blob is 17 power. It's bigger than, uh, bigger than Red Skull. So, let's, let's Blob. Let's Blob. And then we can go zero Red Skull if we want, instead of Taskmaster. Cool. This is going to absorb the rest of our deck for sure. These songs are so bad, and I like them. I don't know why. Mostly because they're free and I don't get copyright claimed. Blob. Yep, pretty big blob. Alright, so... I have no idea what's happening. And that's okay. Um, let's go... Shoot, let's actually... You know what, this is the big brain stuff right here. We go Taskmaster in the middle to flip a lane. And then we will bolster DC with a zero. Yeah. I'm counting on him not playing Hella, basically. And even if he does, he's getting two cards. Some people would say that like bolstering the lanes you're already winning is probably a better play, especially against a deck that isn't running Shang-Chi and stuff. But um, I don't know. I just like flipping the lane you're not winning just in case some nonsense happens that you don't take into account. You still might win because uh, you flipped the lane that the opponent assumed you weren't even trying for. And he did nothing. Hi, thanks for making it this far in the video. Yeah, it's a cool deck. It's fun. I like it. Um, people don't really know how to play against it. And it puts out really big power. Uh, but that's it. If you like the video, please leave a like and subscribe. It's a little work for you, but for me, it means a whole lot. And also check out the link in the description for some awesome design clothes that I recently released. It's not merch. It's just cool shirts. Um, but yeah, that's it. Thank you. Laters. Just high power dudes.